What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today I want to talk about having a plan. And what I mean by having a plan is if you're in your home, your place of business, uh, your church, um, being out at a restaurant uh, while you're eating, you need to make sure you have some kind of plan uh, to be able to get out in case something bad happens. Um, I kind of spoke a little bit about this in a previous video uh, where I was talking to some of the like church safety teams, neighborhood watch, things like that. You guys need to have plans too. Um, everybody needs to have some type of plan in case something bad happens. We all have a plan in case there's a fire. So it, it's no different if someone breaks into your house. You need to have a plan. Everybody needs to know where to go. If you have a way to get out, go ahead and get out. Don't go to the fight. So you don't necessarily know how many people there are, what they've got. You know, now if your home has security systems, a lot of the newer security systems now, you can uh, view them right from your cell phone. So if you have something like that where you can view cameras and see where people are and see what they're carrying, and, and still as a last resort, if you've got to go to them, then go to them. The main priority needs to be getting your family and your friends and people to safety. Get them to safety before you start engaging. Now, there's going to be situations where you're not going to have a choice. You're going to have to engage. And if that happens, then so be it. But you need to have some type of plan. You need to be able to tell people where to go. If you're in your home, your kids, your wife, your husband, whatever, they need to know where to go in case something happens. And if it's not something where you can get out of the house, then there needs to be some type of safe room where everybody congregates, there's a little bit more, uh, preferably probably really where you keep your gun safe. Uh, that really needs to be the safe room or if you have a safe room where there's some extra ammunition, maybe a rifle or a shotgun or some other type of firearm there to kind of help you out along the way until the police actually do arrive. Um, and the other part of having that plan is there needs to be someone designated to call the police and explain what's going on and keep them on the line while everything's happening. Now again, if you can get out, get out, call the police. Uh, if you can't get out, have somebody watching the door, say you're in your safe room, someone needs to be watching that door while the other, other people are you know, in a safe spot being protected and calling the police. I cannot stress this enough folks, you need to have some type of plan. If your church has a safety team, there needs to be a plan in place. You need to have a conversation with your congregation so they understand who's on that safety team and what they're there for so they know who to go to. Because, and explain to them what's going to happen so they understand. Now, I'm not saying you need to bring them out and you need to go through all type of training. That would be great. But as long as your safety team, your neighborhood watch, or you know, the group of concerned citizens you're with, as long as y'all work together and train together and have some type of plan and everybody understands that these are the people uh, to go to and understand how to work them out of the building or church or business, restaurant, home, whatever it might be. There needs to be a plan in place. Uh, for big corporations, you know, places, you know, call centers, things like that, there needs to be some type of plan put in place with that as well. At least with your upper level managers, uh, supervisors, things like that, there needs to be a plan put in place so they understand who's doing what, where people are going. I understand most places aren't going to let you be armed. That's fine. I understand, you know, not wanting to be armed in, in uh, some places not wanting you to be armed while you're there working. You know, that's the, the downside, you know, to working for other people is that you're going to have to follow their rules and regulations. But even if you're not carrying there still needs to be a plan to work everybody out of the building because I promise you, when shooting starts, everybody's going to run around like a chicken with their head cut off. All right? And then you're going to have innocent people running around while you're trying to engage. You know, especially in a church, they need to be taught to stay down. Your safety team needs to work them out of the building. You've got people working, engaging the targets while other people are working them out of the building and then coming back to help engage whatever's going on. I cannot stress this enough, especially a majority of us have some type of plan in place for a fire. Everybody knows what to do, where to go, who to call uh, in case of a fire. Same thing, again, same thing if someone has broken into your house. 
Everybody needs to go, need to know where to go and what to do. I cannot stress this enough. Have a plan. If you need help with that plan, contact us. We'll be glad to come out and help you out. We can come to your home, business, church, whatever it might be, call center, office, lawyer's office. We don't care. We will come and help you out with a plan. If, if not us, go to somebody. Go to somebody that has some professional training or has had some professional training or has a background in this type of stuff and have them help you with a plan. You need to have a plan. Even if you're not going to keep firearms. I don't care if you hate firearms and you don't want them in your house. If a bad guy breaks in, you need to have a plan. At least to get out of the situation because they might be on. They might have a gun, knife, baseball bat, crowbar, pipe, whatever it might be. You need to have a plan to get yourself and your family, friends, whatever, to safety. Need to have something. I cannot stress this enough. If you need help with that plan, reach out to us. All our contact information is going to be below. I cannot stress this enough, folks. You've got to have some type of plan. We do it for everything else. Why not do it for someone breaking in or an active shooter type situation in your office or a place of business or if you're out at a restaurant, believe me, when I go to a restaurant, if it's crowded, I've worked my way through the crowd, find my spot, put my back against the wall, and I start looking at the exit. So I have an idea of what I need to do and where I need to go. Now, you, restaurants aren't just going to let you go roam around, but the majority of them have an employee entrance and exit in the back where they're taking trash in and out and doing different things like that. So as long as you can see it when you pull in and know where that is, and then go inside and get an idea of where everything is. It's You can call me paranoid or whatever, but I like to have a plan to be able to get myself and my family or friends or whoever I happen to be with to a safe spot. Now, yes, the majority of my friends do carry, so you know we will all know have have a <clears throat> excuse me all know what to do and have a plan in place. You know, especially you know when some of us and the other instructors with the school go out to eat and stuff. Trust me. We're eyeing this stuff and we know what to do because we've worked together before. You've got to work together with whoever you're with, whatever team you're part of, and have some type of plan. I cannot stress it enough. I know you're, I'm beating a dead horse here, but we've got it for everything else. We need to have it for someone breaking in or an active shooter type situation. And again, if you need help, reach out to us. Contact information is going to be below. I cannot thank everybody enough for watching. I want to thank all the subscribers and the fans so far. Please continue to like, comment, share, get other people subscribed, and let's get it out there. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.